more numbers inside here. And then I look at 23, 23, 22, and I look at that equation, and you look at the equation and you say, well, how can that be done? There's a pr traditional process of doing it 23. What is it? 23 times mm. 22, 22 equal. And you can do it this way, and then it's a drawn-out process. But I say that's a number 2. You look at number 2, just think of 2. So I think of 2 lines. That's 2 lines. And that's uh, this one here is 3 lines. 1, 2, 3. So that's 2 lines, and that's 3 lines. This one is two lines, and that's two lines. And what you do from these two lines is you're looking outside the square. You know that you know that it's going to end in when you count the corners. Each corner one, one, two, three, four, five, six. I know that it'll end in six, and then you discount that. Okay. So these this represents that represents the two. That represents the three. And that's the two, and that's the two, those two lines. And so then what I do then is I go, I, from here we add the long, one, two, three, four corners, mm -hmm. four, we count on, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we know that these things here, that's this one and that one there, that will make ten, you carry the one, and then what we do is we do that one there, that's four, and then that one is five. And that just goes to show to kids and people that you've got to look outside the square. You have to look outside oh, the square. Oh, there's a whole square. entire different way of doing things. Is yeah, that right, Jeremy? Exactly. Is that sacred geometry or just, just a, a different way of looking at things? That's you, you, you have to, you have to, uh, not, you have to not accept what's given to you in this, in this realm. Don't accept that that's red or... Or, or oh. because, or this is uh, this is a house. It's it's only a house because we know it's a house, um, and that's the reality. That things aren't necessarily are, are real, really, because it's only our perceptions. That oh, are real. it's just our perceptions. And it's it, I see. That's see, a very important uh, point that humanity seems to need to know in order to uh, not be boxed into. Who made these systems. things real to us? Yeah. Who, who made, made these things real? This this formula real. Where you can do a formula very similar to that, uh, that is real. 21 times, uh, say, uh, 20, 24, uh, the same thing. What's that equals? That's 2, 1, 2. That's 1. That's 2, 1, 2. That's 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And, you know, I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I put 4 down there. Then I add these two together. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then I carry the 1. So I've done that out of the way. So there's four, and there's five oh four, five oh four. How now does anyone want a scarf? Mm -hmm. Not yet, no. Uh, so just goes to show that that don't look at the things that we we were taught. Or you can look at the things you're taught, but look at other things in the in this whole process in this quantum field of infinite possibilities. Well, Jeremy, what I hope to do. Mm. is uh, to take a few little vo videos of information mm. like this and learn mm. how to, uh, you know, do the editing and put them up on YouTube for education. Mm. Mm. Would it be all right if I um, used what you... You can, use, you can use everything. You can use anything that, that there is and because information is always gaining. It's always free. Um, information is, um, is when you put your attention to, to something. You become attentive to that, that information from silence chaos to silence, chaos then silence, and uh, we need the, the silence of self, where, where you've got to have, in order to create something, you've got to have nothing, how stupid is that, but that's <laughs> the way it is, and they say, because then nothing becomes something. Because you, your heart has listened to the information of the, you the, put your, the cosmic your, universe. Your attentiveness to that attentiveness, process, focus on and it. then mm -hmm. the attention and intention is the next sequence of science events that have, takes place in that process and then there's chemicals, neuropeptides, there's there's endorphins and the serotonin and there's the hypothalamus, the amygdala, all working all together with just one particular thought and these activities are moving at the speed of light and it's light because thought travels at the speed of light. I can be on Mars now and I'm sitting on Mars, how quickly am I there 
in this conscious. I think you were even saying something about thought mm. traveling faster than the speed of light, like well, on the uh, well, wave it is of love. It's, it's traveling traveling at, at, at a rate that we cannot even put a, a quantum measurement to it. Because when you look at the, this this process of seeing you is is divine love, and that love <laughs> is outside, and you could be in your car. I love you, and and, and you can feel the love. So. Feeling travels with this process of thought, and this is this is a process of, of, of thought that goes through tunnels and buries through the other side of the earth, and mm -hmm. and creates mm -hmm. and heals because it's the love that is that is deep inside the the, the spirit of, of, of this communication. It's a, it's a total different communication field. There's emotional intelligence. There's written intelligence. I've just shown you a bit of written intelligence which I received from someone who had a process of love to give me that information. Mm. And and see, so love is always the, the key of, of a binary system that travels with that process. Uh, speaking to you and speaking on this camera is love because I want to share my love to someone. And you know that's what that's what it's all about. That's, yes, that's it's what I'm feeling. Fe fe I yeah. can feel that, and I know that. And, and I'm safe to do that. Yeah. Uh, um, if I wanted to have hate, I'd have hate. We had every wars that we took place. We had a war in the world. Every there was wars all over the world. And after every war we went through, we after the war we go through a pandemic. We go through a, an emotional, a physical, a pandemic. The first world war, the second world war, George Bush's war. We have this new disease that's killing people just after the war. When the war says that, that we're going to stop war, then our bodies begin to unwind. And then all of a sudden we've got swine flu that's taking people out right around the world. So war isn't there to end all wars. You know, there's this other field that's happened that takes place. We, we pay the karma. We pay the dharma. We do. We're paying karma for well, that. It's, it's my contention uh, that we're moving into mm. a new cycle, uh, which the Aztecs call the sixth sun. Yeah. And that's going to be a cycle of harmony and balance. And the way that the, the things mm. that we're talking about now, about wars and the pandemics, mm. aren't really going to be part of what the, the way the, uh, the people operate anymore because they're going to be not by working by force, they're going to be working through their heart, to, through love, through mm. some of these mm. things that you've um, mm. opened mm. your eyes mm. to. Mm. Because love and speaks. it seems like we're right on this uh, crest of moving mm, into a mm, change. Mm, and mm. we won't even have to really worry about wars. Mm. Everybody praying for peace mm, will mm, probably uh, mm. be, it, what is that? That's got to affect the heart, mm, as you mm, were saying, mm, and the mind consciousness. Mm, exactly, exactly. Uh, because love is, uh, is a thing that's uh, it's motivated from within self, in the opulent and the authentic self. There's the authentic self, which we time, we hide from the world. We put these objects in front of us, and they're all all everywhere in front of us. And uh, you know, my mobile phone has got a, it's it's got an amazing ringtone, or or we, we hold all these things, and we we put that in the way. But when we let go of all these things, the universe will give you whatever you need. If I'm holding on to all my emotions like like this and there, uh, can the universe give me anything? It, it cannot. So when I let go of what I've got. The, the, my hand is free to ask the divine for what I need. Oh, isn't that beautiful? The more I let go and the more I become oneness in my silence, the universe is then providing me with this pure state of conscious energy. Exactly. I'm open. I'm open. But if I'm holding all these things and saying, this here, oh, this is, oh, this is so important to me because it's important. Let me show you the technology. It's so important to me because it has all my contacts all my people that are on here that are my friends or, or whatever and it's just an object oh that's your phone object referral object referral and it object means so referral. much you know if I put it in the thing it, I'll be devastated or someone steals it it'll be it'll be I'll be devastated people will be devastated but we don't need to we can just put it down it's not there anymore you know it's 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 only a so it, it makes a when you put it down then as you say it makes room free. for something else you become something free else. And something else can come in. My phone and dropped in the water. It was the best thing that ever happened because, because the, the, the old phone went in the water, inside the water, and while it went into the water, it, it destroyed every bit of the memory of the phone. That was the best experience I've ever went through. But I had to go through the inertia of the, the, the loss and pain and the grief, which had me, which, which I, got, I went in to look at it, and it was, I was grief-stricken because it went into the water. But all, all what, everything that went into the water was just pure emotions. But it was only what I put my attention to. And then the big, the best thing is, 
I went out and bought a brand new phone. <laughs> That's you know what I mean? <laughs> so it made it was motivated me to get some a new phone. But at the same time, I looked differently at what and my contacts and people. It, it, it doesn't bother. I I, I had that happen in reality. another way. Uh, I, I knew that I needed a new car, and but I was so attached to uh, uh, he had a particular name, the old car. I didn't want to put him down. So then I had a little accident and had to get a new one. <laughs> Yeah, it, it takes you into a different field yeah. of possibilities. No, yeah, so that, I mean, it's interesting what you're saying. And there. thoughts are like the hooks in our brain. And you put in, in, in you program your, your thoughts on the computer and you put love. And you'll see the word love there. And that love is the feeling, the feeling of love is where it's going to take you. But that, you're not going, it's not, you're not going there. It's taking you. Wow, so your consciousness is, is flowing on that energy of love. You, you can't explain that. It's sort of, it's, I suppose, in a sense, in, in our human terms, because when we have put our attention to love, love is just the word love. The other processes in the universe comes together, and then what happens, the abundance of processes of love comes to you. But it, it, it more of, it takes you, it takes you. It takes mm -hmm. you on that journey because you've, again, like the phone dropping in the water, you've released, let go, I've released, I've released. Mm -hmm. When there was so much pain that I saw someone crying in, in a primal state of consciousness, in the primal process, and they, you know, when you cry, when you have pride, deep pride within your loss, you have nowhere else to go. You have nowhere else mm -hmm. to go. It is the most, it's the epitome of greater understanding because when you have nowhere to go with your pain, comes abundance because the universe comes in the inertia that takes takes over and you begin to have an epitome of greater understanding greater understanding because the pain is so great within me that I have nowhere to go but to fall and when I fall what happens is the process of the universe unfolds and it takes us takes over and we have everything because it's, the, it's like the brand new day that occurs for every new day from chaos, from nothingness, it takes us to nothingness, to, to reality consciousness. Well, thank you for that yeah. wonderful conversation. We'll have to pick that up again because it's yeah. wonderful. Thank, thank you. you.
animals, and then you look at the natural animals, they mean so much to us. All, all the animals. This is a, this one I did, this one is about the, the dreaming of the river. This one here, you'll get the, the animals on the river, and then the animals, what happens with the, with the animals on the river? I'll do this one, it's so over here. The, the animals on the river, you'll get the, uh, the, all the animals that are living on the river. The frog, which is the kubalong in Noongar. And then the snake, which is the Noongar, which comes and eats them up. They eat the frogs. And then the, the uh, kingfisher or the kookaburra comes down and it takes the snake and flies up and eats the snake. And then what happens, the, you'll see the spider making its web. And the web, it, and it's making a web and it's eating all the food. So everything needs to sustain on each other. We act like community, even though, uh, you know, you might think an animal is dying, but it, it's it's providing that other animal food. Because if you look at that, that's that's uh, that's it's 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 just it's providing, and the other animal is eating it. It needs the sustenance, and it's not it's not dying. It's rebirthing. It's changed its form. And what happened is, is when these frogs were on the river, the snake would come along and consume that, consume them. And we, because we're so fearful of death, we, we think, oh, how, what a horrid experience. But it's, it's nothing. It's just it, you know. There's nothing horrid about that experience. It's just life, living on another life. Then the kookaburra comes along and eats the snake. And the spider comes along, well, does the web, and the web. And then there's that flies landing in it. The spider will go and eat this fly. And there's the little bird comes along and takes the spider. And then that's what life is. It's about that life. That's and life. And man shoots the bird. And man, that's where we all go wrong. <laughs> so, when man shoots the bird. <laughs> we go wrong. We go wrong. That's right. I would agree with you, actually, Jeremy. One, that's where two, we go wrong. Two, two, two. How about some of your coffee? Yeah, I'll just do this last story. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.
meant to. 